So sometimes we get um, injured nene uh, that have been through rehab. Um, so it could be a golf ball strike on their on their legs. It could be an injured wing. Sometimes they they even have to get amputated. Their their wings have to get amputated. So um, usually, um, if they're not able to survive in the wild, they would have to be euthanized. But luckily, we have this predator-proof uh, sanctuary where the nene uh, can be released, even in that type of condition. Um, where they can survive, you know, they, they don't have to get harassed by predators, um, but they can uh, still contribute genetically. They can still um, nest if they find their mate here. The good thing about this spot in particular is um, it's kind of in the middle of the island. So the birds from Waikoloa come here, the birds from Hilo can also come here, and when we release them, they can also still go back to where they're from. You know, we used to have to worry about every um, every individual surviving, and now it's you know we have over a thousand nene on the island, but there a lot of them are concentrated in golf courses, and one in particular, there's hundreds of nene on the golf course while people are golfing. It's priceless. I I absolutely love the relationship that we have as far as working as a team, Dofa. Uh, you know, there are permitting office that allows us to be able to do this important work, uh, but they're an incredible team to help respond to injured wildlife. Uh, when we get a phone call, we work together to get the animal the care that it needs. Um, uh, whether it's DOFA responding to the call or they let us know, hey, can you help us because we're, we're busy on the other side of the island. So, you know, we, we work really good in that aspect in the care of the animals. Uh, we have clear lines of communication between DOFA and us as far as these are the cases that we have going on. This is what's wrong with them. This is what we recommend. You know, there's one that has uh, that had a toe injury and that has healed very well. I I have very good feelings that that one's gonna do great in the wild and it's not gonna affect its ability to survive at all. Uh, the other one had a really tough recovery, six months in care after a uh, broken leg, multiple surgeries to get that one to heal. Uh, to heal. And, uh, you know, that one still has a slight limp uh, in its walk. Uh, if it exercises a lot, you can see that limp a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, if a person had a similar fracture like this Nene had, for sure they're going to be painful if they, if they overexert themselves. Uh, but the bone has healed really well. Uh, I don't think that this is going to affect the bird's quality of life. It's been eating well in captivity, it's been gaining weight, um, it's, the, the limp is more mechanical than painful, so I'm feeling really good that she's going to be able to go out into the wild, uh, do well, and I'm hopeful that over the long term that injury is going to continue healing over the next couple of years and, and whatever discomfort there may be now uh, should be lessened in, in a bit more time.